Should I sing Fragile? Should I try to do it on piano? But I'm always here for any kind of musical advice. So please do not hesitate to ask me just like in the comments or something and I'll try my best to answer. Um, because, because that's, that's what I'm here for. That's why I turn on live streams. Like, I, sure, like I'll sing and I love singing, of course, but like, why am I here interacting with you guys? Like seeing your comments and stuff. That's, you know, I come from a background of, of, of musical educators. Like my mom's a music teacher and my grandparents were music teachers and, and my whole life was studying music and I've gone through a disgusting amount of music school to not sit here and help you guys. So, or pass on whatever I've learned. I really wanna do master classes. Like I really want to. Um, like Q and A master class type of situations. That's, that's like one of my dreams. How do you deal with insecurities in your own playing, especially playing with talented other people? Everybody has, I just, this is the mindset I've drilled into myself. Everybody plays in a different way. And this is what I especially love about modern music or like, you know, contemporary music and styles like that. Everybody, everybody plays differently and everybody's perception of talent and technique and like, you know, level is different. It's such a subjective art and it's becoming increasingly subjective. So if you can convince yourself that you are on your own path and working hard for yourself and not comparing to other people, because you can't compare two people, you know, you can't compare how two people look. So you can, and you especially can't compare how two people sing. I'll make it really obvious in like singing terms, right? You have, let's take Taylor Swift and Amy Winehouse, right? Both singers are incredible and have gained so much fame and so much success. Their voices are so, like, you cannot compare them. You know, Taylor Swift is like this like massive songwriter and she has like a lighter voice that's like less vibrato and whatever. And like, and I, and I love that. But then again, Amy Winehouse has this like deep, dark, you know, soulful voice. And that was her thing, you know, and everybody has their own little thing and you can't compare them. It's not apples to apples. So you just like really have to convince yourself that you're your own Amy Winehouse or Taylor Swift, you know, that's what I do. That's how I survive in this music industry for sure. I'm just, I have convinced myself that I am so in my own lane that I can't compare myself to anyone else. And, and you all should do the same thing too because every single human on this earth is a little bit different. I have an identical twin sister and we have the exact same DNA, like exact same, same nurture and nature. We both grew up playing classical music and, and, and um, practicing and whatever. I became a singer, she didn't, you know? Her voice is not entirely like mine. We are maybe some of the two like closest, we were one person. We are some of the two closest specimens in the world. And yet we cannot be compared when it comes to like singing or playing. So how can you compare yourself to anybody else if I can't even compare myself to my identical twin sister? So that is my advice for today. I'll sing now. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> do maybe I'll do fragile on piano
It's my new song. It came out three days ago, and you guys have already streamed it over a hundred thousand times, which is crazy, 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 crazy. Um, so thank you so much for listening to that. Um, it means so much. This song is like my favorite thing ever. I usually play it on guitar, but I'm trying out something different. Oh my god. I'm so I'm at home right now, and I haven't. I just got such a, okay. Um, I'm at home right now. And I just saw my old <laughs> theory book. <laughs> this book traumatized me so much. Oh my God, I never wanna see it again. That's crazy. Classical harmony, it's my harmony book in Icelandic. Um. Sneak into bars and games 
gonna sing it for you guys it's like a little it's like a little musical theater -y, I would say I'll try 
try to remember it, but I might not. <laughs> it's, um, it's called Serendipity. And I was thinking about, like, I really, I want to write more love songs. And, and you know those people that you meet and you're like, and it just feels serendipitous. That's what this song is. Okay, I want to do it justice, so I'm gonna go. Oop! I'm gonna go to my bedroom, get my computer, so I can do this properly. Um, I'm in my childhood home right now. Isn't that crazy? It's. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, I should grab my guitar while I'm at it. Wait, where's my computer? Well, this is interesting. Um, I also need a charger. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just uh, a mess right now. It appears that I cannot locate a charger. So if my phone dies, my computer. I wonder where it is. Oh. I was using it here. I'm like talking to myself right now. I feel really silly. Um, that's not my computer. Pray for Lefe. <laughs> she lost her computer. I can't find anything here. Where's my mother? You know how mothers just like find everything? My computer could be like at the bottom of a ditch somewhere. And I'd be like, where's my computer? And my mom would fish it out of the ditch. I found my computer. This is just a, a little, this is like a vlog. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlog. <laughs> I didn't lose my computer, guys. Oh yeah, that is how my name is pronounced. Leve. Isn't that funny? Parents did me real dirty on that one, huh? Kidding. At least I got my tra I got my name trademarked. Isn't that crazy? So no one can use my name, Leve, as a musician. Oh my god, I caught my... Isn't that cool? So Disney and Marvel can come at me. This is so chaotic. I'm so sorry. How are there more of you watching during this, like, very chaotic portion? That's hilarious. Okay. Isn't it bothersome to fly from LA to Iceland every few months? Yes, it absolutely kills me. I hate it so much. I miss home so much. Um, but work is in LA, so I got to, I have to do that. That is, uh, that is my job. Oh my God. Okay. It's so bright. Here we are. <laughs> um, all right. What piano do you play? This is a Yamaha ground piano. I'm not sure what kind. It's like mid-size, I think. It's not like a concert, but it's not a mini either. Um, so, oh, now I'm sitting further back. You can see there's a smiley face on it. Okay, so, this song is very much in, pro in the process, but. Also guys, if you guys make a fan page for me, like tag me, cause I will follow you. I like follow all my fan pages. Fun fact. Okay. Typical of me will restock, I promise. So this song is called Serendipity. I won't pretend I've been I won't pretend Oh, 
of 90 in Central Park West Oh, how it thrilled me, I think It changes keys in the middle, which is my bad, but I'll have to work around it because I don't want to change anything. Um, there are two more verses. I think I'm going to cut one of the verses out, but I'll sing this verse anyways, just because maybe you'll relate. But it's basically about me being anxiously attached. <laughs> I won't pretend I've been Just like I've always been This time it's sticky And time just stops ticking When I have my arms around him And then this is the last one I want to be like in the future I see kind of like a Pixar type of up Like old situation Then here's when we're losing our memory Taking leaves over time. I hope, oh. <laughs> I hope that you'll look at me like we're still 23. Oh, how I hope you'll be mine. I'm 23.
so someday my prince will come. Tchaikovsky Serenade. And I'm jazzing it up. If you are a classical musician, I'm sincerely sorry. I just butchered that. pieces to play is by Ravel. It's Pavan for a dead princess. It's like...
something there. Another one I've really been liking is the is uh, it's this children's DBC children's piece. Impressionist music, which is so pretty. I need to practice it. If my mother's listening, I'm so sorry. I love you. I promise I'll practice with a metronome. <laughs> but you know what's really fun about quitting classical music as like a, a as a pre-professional student is that you can kind of just do whatever and no one's gonna stop you. And I've turned this leaf of like just playing for fun and I have so much fun and every other note is a wrong note and I don't give a single shit because I'm having so much fun. And I think you should all do the same. You know, once you've, once you've put in your time, you learned your technique, you used a metronome, you had your mother screaming at you, you shed the tears, you know, the least you can do, the gold pot at the end of that is that you can just play and enjoy. And it's the best thing ever. How, how lucky am I to have this as a, as a hobby? You know, I sit here when the weather's nice and I just play and nothing's right and don't worry about it, you know? Um, anyways, I don't know, is somebody really triggered by all this right now? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, there is no, I feel like a good amount of you have also been traumatized by classical music. I was extremely traumatized, but also I love it very much. So I've like turned a corner. Um, but my whole goal is to de-traumatize it. You know what I mean? Make it something that's fun and, and no rules and just enjoy, you know? At the end of the day, like, unless you're like actually a professional classical musician, then, you know, Godspeed, go do your thing. Like, that's your job. Like, play it correctly for sure, but... For me, I'm a mess with it. <laughs> now that I have, like, I will say, I did put in the time and the work to get the correct technique so I don't, like, hurt myself. And I also, like, know what's right. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> um, I probably have to go soon, actually. I'll end with one song. Street by street. 
leaves the dust steal back on my property and leave from the ground and I know they don't see you one day on the street with a girl on your arm but I won't let that keep me from this town from this town from this town oh 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 step by step break by break to the chorus, the step by step. Isn't that cool? That's really fun. That's a really fun trick. Like when you're ending things or even when you're starting things, take like a part of the melody and like echo it or foreshadow it in the beginning. Like I could start the song like Actually, there's no theory behind it. Guys, theory is really cool and I've definitely gained a lot from it. However, do not fret. Theory is not everything. I am not a denier. I think it's very helpful. Um, I think everybody benefits from studying it. But if you haven't studied it, because studying music theory is a huge privilege, you know? I grew up in a very musical family and I started conservatory really young which set the path for me to study you know music in a very academic way and take private lessons and you know whatnot and then which led me to be able to get a scholarship to go to another university and and to a different conservatory or college music college where I learned even more music theory um, which I wouldn't have been able to do if I didn't have the privilege to study it in the first place. And that's one of my biggest issues with classical music. It's because it's really inaccessible. Um, I was literally born into a classical music family, so I was very lucky with that. But not everybody is. And that's why I, I think like learning like guitar or piano, like even just like on YouTube is super cool because you can, it's, you have the resources at, at hand, you know, that, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a privilege to be able to study music theory for sure. So I don't, you know, I don't push it. I think learning by ear is just as important. I spent most of my life, you know, from a very theoretical approach and learning theory. And I didn't become the musician that I am today after I started, you know, learning how to work by ear as well. So. Okay, now I got really deep for absolutely no reason, but your music, classical music training really shows in your music and it's honestly breathtaking. That's so kind, thank you. Um, I definitely have had a lot of, lot of classical music training and it definitely seeps through in my, in my uh, art. Also, cause I just wanna introduce classical music to you guys. So I, it's, it's uh, with intention that it comes through. Um, because I love classical music so much, but I also, I think the world needs to like 
open up and I think it needs to be introduced in a way that feels um, accessible, you know? And, and yeah, so. If you guys want to, by the way, I have a jazz playlist of all my favorite jazz songs and a classical playlist of all my favorite classical music on my Spotify. So if you go to my artist Spotify, you'll be able to find it. And honestly, those two playlists are what inspired all of my music. So if you like my music, I genuinely think you will like the classical playlist and the jazz playlist because they all like, it all makes sense. You will be able to piece everything together. Um, I put those up for like educational purposes because I want you guys to know that music because I think it's really cool and it's really inspired me. Um, use it to romanticize your life, you know? Put it on, go for a walk or, or, uh, or read or, or um, work out to it. I don't know. Anyways. Um, anyways, I love you all very much. I am, I'm going to go now, but what? Oh, my debut album is coming out on the 26th of August. My first album ever, ever, ever. And, um, it would mean so much to me if you would go pre-save it on the link in my bio. If you go pre-save it, it will be really, really helpful for me to, um, like for playlisting and stuff like that. So like for people at Spotify and Amazon and stuff to like see, oh, like people are interested in the music. So that's really helpful for me. So join me in introducing these old styles of music back into a new generation, but with, 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 uh, with new fun, you know, it's a, mo it's a modern story. It's a very modern story that we're telling, but with old sounds. Okay, I'm gonna go, bye-bye.